What an awesome secondary paint scheme for your diecast series. I freaking love it. Here's Jimmy Johnson's 2020 Ally Fueling Futures Jimmy Johnson Foundation Chevrolet Camaro. Howdy, oh, folks. It is Diecast Buffet here again with a brand new Jimmy Johnson Diecast. And holy cow, I don't know why I'm so excited for this car, but there's just something really cool about it. So this is a technically a secondary or alternate paint scheme. It's the Jimmy Johnson 2020 Ally Fueling Futures Jimmy Johnson Foundation Chevrolet Camaro. Now, this is something that's been going on for a decade now. Every year, Jimmy Johnson getting the foundation car out. You know, during the Lowe's days, it was completely different looking, obviously, with the blue, black, and the white. Beautiful die cast, I might add. Um, but through the years, they've changed it up a little bit. But obviously, with the Allied partnership, they really changed it up. <laughs> I got to say, man, this is such a really cool paint scheme. It, it, it's the same primary car, right? But it has subtle differences to it that really kind of make it pop. And this car is going to be in the NASCAR Duras Cup Series. So uh, who knows how this car is going to perform? Of course, you know, the Duras Cup Series unscripted diecast racing. You can tune into it. I have a whole playlist down below to every diecast race. The diecast dictate the winner. Unscripted diecast racing. It's unlike anything on YouTube. Anyways, let's go and get this Jimmy Johnson 48 Ally Fueling Futures Camaro right out of the box. Alrighty, folks. Brand new out of the box. And whoa, this is a cool diecast. So... This is, you know, like I mentioned, it's the Jimmy Johnson primary, right? But it has those subtle differences to it. So instead of it just saying ally on the quarter panel, it, this is kind of an alternate paint scheme. You know, this is something you could use maybe in your die cast series at one of those, you know, nighttime one and a half mile events. You know, you kind of change up the paint schemes a little bit. I love this, man. The ally feeling futures. I mean, in a way, it kind of looks better than the primary car. I mean, think about it. Without the Jimmy Johnson Foundation decal, doesn't that look like a pretty good primary, if you ask me? If you ask me, that looks like a really cool primary die cast, if you ask me. But I love how they actually got the Jimmy Johnson car made. I think that's freaking awesome. Now, I will say, though, this giant Chevrolet decal, it needs to get out of here. Because that thing looks like an eyesore. I'm, I'm sorry. Why do, they, why do these sponsors, for whatever reason, are just so dead set? I'm putting a freaking background on their decal. I I, I just, uh, I don't know. I, I, I just, I don't like the backgrounds on the decals. You could put a borderline, that's fine, right? You could put a borderline. But why don't you do something like this, like the Hendrick.com's logo right here, right? No BS, just a simple paint scheme with the PNG logo attached to it. Perfect, right? No, let's just, let's just put a freaking giant square box and put our logo on it. I think it looks stupid. So anyways, you go over here to the hood of this die cast, you got the Ally logo, and for whatever reason, I have yet to see one of these actually wrapped, uh, the Ally logo on the hood, actually wrapped like a straight line, it's always been crooked, so I, I don't know. Uh, I still think the hood decal looks like, looks crazy. <laughs> so you got the Cup Series logo right there. You got the Chevrolet uh, bow ties. You got the a uh, well, little bit of some decal cracking there. Unfortunately, you got the Chevrolet uh, front bow tie there. This headlight screwed up. Holy crap! This thing's low. This one looks looks pretty good, honestly. Got the Day Glow 48 right there. Got the 38. Got some air bubbles there. Gotta love that. I uh, got the Sunoco decal there. Very, very sharp. I love the pink and the purple design. It, it's really cool how um, Alex Bowman, uh, the 2021 uh, 48 car, it's going to be kind of like a medium to like, uh, I'd say like a medium tone purple, right? But it's going to have like some uh, just vintage 80s retro vibes to it. It's, it's such a cool paint scheme, and I hope they do some really cool uh, work with it. But the, the, the Bowman primary, man, I tell you, it's so good looking. I cannot wait. So you got the Hendrick, uh, Hendrick Motorsports decal there. You got, of course, you know, 3M and Sunoco once again. Let's go ahead and zoom into this. I love the, the big numbers. I think the big numbers look really good on these die cast. And whoa, look at the texture uh, change there. That was cool. Uh, but wow, I love it. I love that. Why? Why do they always want to move these stupid numbers back? Just keep it in the middle, guys. I mean, look how good that looks. Looks freaking beautiful. Keep it like that. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So you got the Jimmy Johnson logo right there, Microsoft, Valvoline, you got Exalta, uh, Freightliner, uh, Simeon's, Cincinnati Industries, uh, you got Ally Fueling Futures. I love that pink there. That is beautiful. Love the pink and the white with the black race car. I mean, that looks freaking good if you ask me. You got the Jimmy Johnson Foundation right there. Very cool, you know. And unfortunately, I think this is going to be the final Jimmy Johnson Foundation diecast. And maybe they make a promo random one down the road. Who knows? But um, unfortunately, that run has came to an end. You got the HendrickCars.com logo right there. Very nice. 
giant 48 decal. Love that. Look, I, I, I get it. They they want to have their logo and all that BS, but I just don't put a freaking random box. I just put like a, a, a bar or something behind the, the wording and just put a white outlining around the bow tie. It just looks stupid like that. I'm sorry. Like everything else is like trimmed out and it's PNG, which basically means it's transparent. And then you have this. Like, look how beautiful they did this. They put the outlining to it. It looks great, right? They just left it like it is. Microsoft left it like it is. Like, left it like it is. But then they just put a random box here. It looks stupid if you ask me. NASCAR Cup Series, NASCAR Race Car. Love the Goodyear uh, decal there. Very sharp. I think this paint scheme, man, looks really good. You know, the, the 2020 um, Jimmy Johnson paint scheme, it was like three times better than the 2019. The 2019 sucked, okay? I'll be honest with you. It sucked. But the 2020 uh, Jimmy Johnson car was freaking beautiful, man. Ally Racing, Fueling Futures, love that. Uh, you know, just something different about this paint scheme, and I, I really like it. And if I want to compare it, it might be comparing apples to oranges, honestly. It reminds me back in 2010 when Jimmy Johnson has primary Lowe's car, right? But they also produced a uh, Jimmy Johnson Lowe's slash Giants Manville diecast. I did a review on that. You can check that out down below. It's one of the most obscure Jimmy Johnson cars produced, and a lot of people don't even know it's, it, it exists, honestly. But it really reminds me of it, because it's the same identical primary paint scheme, just a different side logo. Uh, very similar to how, like, Brad Keselowski will have his Alliance Truck Parts car, but then it will say um, a different hood logo or something. So you got the Valvoline there, ZL1 Camaro 1LE. Got the 48 right there. Love that satin texture to it on the spoiler. Very, very sharp. You know, it's, it is really a cool-looking die cast. It really is, and uh, I, I absolutely recommend it. You know, these Jimmy Johnson paint schemes, they're making a crap load of them. But what is this? Oh, my goodness, man. What, what is the Goodyear decal doing? I tell you what, it's up to no good. <laughs> that was lame. But wow, man. You got cat claws over here on the side. I mean, what is this? They, they, they just scratch it? I mean, holy crap. And whatever this is over here, got some air pockets. Oh, my lord. But on a brighter note, though, look at the reflection of this kind of, like, back quarter panel here. I love that. That kind of satin semi-gloss texture to it with the studio lights. Very, very sharp. Also, there's a random uh, chip in the clear coat right there. You can see the gloss black. Because what they do is they spray the car black, right, like a gloss one. They put the decals on, and I think they put, like, they either spray or they brush on kind of a dull coat to it. And I think that's what gives it this kind of satin texture to it. They probably got some, you know, really good stuff. Probably some automotive grade crap, honestly. Uh, but uh, definitely some poor execution on Lionel's end. So you got the 48, 48 right there. Uh, love the giant 48 there. Very nice. But, you know, th th this is what is just hilarious, right? NASCAR says, oh, we want to put more real estate on the side. So that the sponsors get a bigger bang for their buck. So they're going to move the numbers back, which is stupid if you ask me. But they put such a small decal on the roof flaps. So you have all this giant real estate here. You can make the numbers smaller. And you have this giant panel of real estate. But instead, they're, they're, they're dead set on doing this atrocity. I mean, what, what are you... Uh, does that make any sense? They complain they need more decal space for the sponsor. Yet they put an itty bitty decal on the roof. Quite ironic if you ask me. And of course, you got the Jimmy Johnson logo right there. Check out that texture on the roof flaps. What the biff? Oh my goodness. You see that kind of like a, like, it looks like carbon fiber almost. Uh, that's not supposed to be like that. That's a, a decal overlap with some air bubbles, but uh, it does create a unique texture. Ally right there and uh, love that gloss uh, window effect. Very, very sharp. You know, honestly, this is a really cool die cast. You know, there's so many Jimmy Johnson paint schemes coming out and I feel like some of them are going to get rare. I don't know which ones, though. So, I'm going to try to get every one of them. <laughs> I mean, you think about it, you got the Jimmy Johnson, uh, the the rally car, or the white ally car. Um, I think they're making, uh, they had like an alternate version of the white ally car. I don't know if that got produced or not, or it's going to get produced, who knows. But you got the Vegas car, the, the, the ally white car, Donington throwback, final ride Phoenix car, the Texas car. Uh, the Martinsville car that has the signatures, they're making the Phoenix Raced version one. Uh, apparently, from what I hear, they're going to do a two-car set. So it's going to have Jimmy Johnson and then Chase Elliott in a box or whatever, and uh, the 164 scale. I don't know the price of it, but um, there's going to be some collectors that are going to want that. I'm just saying, 
they could overproduce it, which I hope they do, so it's kind of cheap, but you never know. Um, this is the final year for Jimmy Johnson diecast, which is sad, but um, definitely a good good opportunity to pick up some of his uh, very nice paint schemes from 2020. You know, 2018, 2019, his cars look like crap, but 2020 was definitely a revival for the Johnson paint scheme department. Anyways, folks, thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you don't mind. Like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to know what y'all think about this diecast down below, of course. And uh, feel free to, uh, you know, uh, shoot me a comment. Tell me what y'all think. And what is y'all's favorite Jimmy Johnson paint scheme from 2020? Oh, it's I, I couldn't pick. It would probably be the Texas car. I think that Texas paint scheme is the most God-given, beautiful Jimmy Johnson diecast or race car I've seen in a while. That thing... I might just use it as an Alex Bowman alternate paint scheme. That's how beautiful it is. Anyways, folks, hope you're all having a great one. And, of course, for more NASCAR diecast reviews every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, great opportunity to hit that notification bell. Have a great one. Stay humble. Diecast Buffet signing off. <laughs>